So I posted a video a couple of days ago saying um, how I've sort of hurt my intercostal muscle and um, it means I haven't been able to get into the gym. So um, what I was sort of going to show you today is that actually if, if for some reason you can't get into the gym because of a physical injury, then there's other things you can do which, which just the smaller things I think sometimes get overlooked. Um, so let me just see if I can move this down a little bit. There we go. So again, it's my Herb's palsy arm here, you can see I still haven't managed to start wearing the splint yet and that was my New Year's resolution and we're nearly uh, we're halfway through February so um, I still need to work on that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I can't get into the gym to start sort of building up the muscles, you can see you know, the, the difference sort of in size there. It's sort of getting better, it is getting better but it's still not where, not where I want it yet. Um, so yeah, one of the things that I've been doing is just because I, I don't have that movement. That's as far as that's as far as I can get it. Okay, so one thing I can be doing while I'm not in the gym is I can be just actually doing these exercises, just trying to get that round there because it does go, and I think it's it's because because I don't do it, I can't do that. It sort of gets gets stiff and it just, just sort of stays there. Whereas actually, if I can loosen that up, maybe I'm going to get more 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 range of motion. I don't know, but um, if it feels looser, then surely that's that's a good thing. Uh, it doesn't need to be, you know, it doesn't need to be stiff all the time. If I, if I can sort of loosen that up a bit, then that's really good. And, and that's a difficult one because that's as straight as it will go. It won't get any straighter. Um, and it's something I'm a little bit self-conscious about. But there's an exercise which I'll show you, which actually my wife helps me with, where I sort of lay on my back and she sort of pushes it down to try and straighten that, that arm out. Um, so I'll show you that at some point. The other one that I've been doing is kind of using my hand up against the wall like this. Because my, my fingers sort of generally just sort of hang like this, it's sort of straightening them out can be a little bit stiff sometimes. So actually one thing I'm sort of finding that I'm doing is pushing my hand up against the wall like this, just straightening that wrist out. And then you can see the fingers, there's a bit of a curve there. So what I'm sort of doing is just, I hear the crack, <laughs> is pushing that down and then just putting a bit of weight through it as well and I can even straighten the fingers out a little bit and it's remarkable sort of how loose your fingers will feel after that so I mean that looks reasonably normal now and then you can just sort of push push them down just try and get that movement in there because it's not a movement that I can usually do actually if I can start to make that do it like that then hopefully see that feels a bit a little bit loose and just sort of shake the wrists out a little bit um, so yeah so that's something that I've been working on um, again it takes time just keeping the keeping it so easy not to so easy not to do these sort of exercises and since I've been going to the gym I kind of overlook these a little bit so actually maybe having this injury was 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 a good thing uh, that I can't get into the gym because then it, it makes me start thinking about all the other smaller ones that actually probably more important than actually building the muscle is actually those small things. Maybe if I do those, then I won't get these injuries. So, um, so yeah, just try those out. And if you like them, just let me know. Uh, subscribe, and um, you can follow me on Instagram and, and Twitter and, and Facebook and stuff like that as well. So, thanks for watching, and hope this uh, this helps.